Hi guys, there's a lot of ways to install Windows, like USB, from external hard drives, so I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 from your computer's hard drive. First, to install Windows 11, you need to have a Windows 11 ISO file. To load Windows 11, you open the web browser. Enter the search box of the browser to download Windows 11, and then press enter. There will be search results, and then you can choose to download Windows 11 from Microsoft. If you already have a Win 11 ISO file, you can skip this step, or you can download it to download the latest version of Win 11. On the Windows 11 download page, you drag down the Windows 11 ISO download item. Click select to select Window 11. Then select download now. Next, in the language option, you choose the language as English, United States, then select. Confirm. It will load to download, then you click select to 64-bit download to download Win 11. If this does not work, you can see a different way of loading your video in the video description. You wait for the download, fast or slow. Because of your internet speed. After the download, it's saved to the download folder on the machine. Next, you need to mount it in a new folder. You click select on the ISO file, then right click on mount, then select. Open to open the ISO file. Now you press Ctrl plus A to select all, then right click and select copy. Next, you choose A. Drive to save those files, then save them to another C drive. On the drive you choose to save, you create a folder, then rename it to be short and easy to access when installing. Then open the newly created folder, click the right mouse button to select paste, and wait for the window installation. Files to pass. Next, go to the command port. To access command, click on the window icon. Select setting. Then update and security. Then recovery. And then select restart now. You can get in quickly by holding down the shift button and selecting reset. In this option, select troubleshoot. Then select the advanced option. And select the command port. The machine will reset. And enter the command port. Here, you click to select the account of the machine. If you have a password, enter it, leave it empty, and then choose. Continue. It'll go to the black screen to enter the command. There are two ways to access the window settings. The first way is to enter the setup command, the second way is to enter the notepad command and choose to install. I'll say it both ways. One way is to enter from disk part, then enter to enter Microsoft disk part. When you enter, you type from the list volume. After entering, it will show the drives on your computer. Because when you save the original file, the drive name will be different, as if you originally saved the Windows setup file to the E drive. But now it's D. Once you know the drive that saves the installed file, you enter exit. For the next drive you want to access, you enter the letter name of the drive, type a dotted mark, and enter. Then you will access that drive, for example, if you drive it, you will enter. Two dots. Now that you're on the drive containing the installed file, you type a command to access that folder. If you enter from the CD and the directory name, as you used to create it, is ISO, then we'll enter the ISO CD, then enter. In this folder, you enter setup.exe, and enter will appear in the setup table. That's the first way, if any of you get messed up, the second way is that it's closed. To reopen and do it the second way. You just select, as above, to enter the command port. In this command line, you enter from the notepad, then enter. The notepad window appears, you select file, then choose open. Select this PC to view the drives. Now you can choose. The disk contains the originally created folder to open. When it's opened, it doesn't have a setup file. 
If you select all files for file off type, the file setup will be displayed. To install, you click select file setup. Then click to select run as administrator. The window setup pops up. To install, you leave the default. Then select next, then select install to install. If you have a license key, enter the key, if you do not have it, select, I don't have a product key. Select the window option, select the pro version, and then select next. Next click, I accept. Select next. Select the bottom. To select the installation drive window, if you do not remember which drive to install. To review the drives, press shift plus F10, which will reopen the command window. You enter from the notepad. Similar to the above, open a folder of drives for checking. When you know the drives, like the window setup drive and the data container. You go back to window setup. You choose drives that are less than 1 GB, such as drives with megabyte capacity. Then click select and select delete to delete. After emptying those drives, you choose the Windows installer. Select the format to clean the disk. If you don't format the old Windows install files, it still does this. Then select the formatted drive and select next to install Windows. You wait for the installer for 15 or 20 minutes. To select the region, you leave the default and select yes, similar to the language, and choose skip. Wait for the update machine, name the machine, select next, then select setup for personal use, and choose next. Because Windows 11 requires you to log in to your Microsoft account, you choose to sign in. Here, you enter your Microsoft account. Then select next, if not, create a new account. Then enter your Microsoft account password. And select sign in. It'll check your account. Go in here, depending on whether you choose to restore or set up a new PC. I'm choosing a new setup. Win 11 battery code, you choose to create the battery. Now you're generating a pin code for security. You can enter numbers, special characters. You enter the same code in both cells, if it's wrong, type it right again, and then select OK. Select Next, Next, and accept to continue. Choose skip. Select skip, then choose accept. In this option, you choose decline, decline, or skip to ignore. Wait for the update. The update is in the window. You can use the office right now through Windows. When you're done installing it, you should. To Windows update to update the driver as well as window updates. The latest version of Windows 11 is 23H2. So I taught you how to install Windows 11 from your hard drive. If you see or like it, share and subscribe to the channel. To see more videos, hello, and see you again.